Hey guys, Mike here. I'm just going to do a quick little instructional video on how to potentially get your data back on your Western Digital MyBook. Um, as you may or may not know, the Western Digital MyBook, um, I think in, there's another one called the Duo or something like that. I'm not sure. But anyway, I think I had the MyBook, it's this little thing. Well, this was the case. I took it apart um, and got the hard drive out of it. Um, what I'm gonna do uh, right after this little intro video, I'm gonna do um, a quick instructional video on how to get it open. Um, but what happened was uh, some hackers got in, deleted everything remotely. And um, so I checked mine out and sure enough, all my data was gone. So Western Digital sent out an email saying that if you want, you have I think until the end of July, you can send this thing in and um, they'll, pay for shipping and they'll try to recover your data. And I was like, you know what? They'll try to do it pretty much. There's no guarantees they're gonna recover anything. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna just randomly send my hard drive out to some company that might be able to get my data back. So I was decided that I was going to, um, I was savvy enough to try to get the data off myself. Um, it was a little more challenging because it wasn't like I can just plug and play because there is no USB port on this drive. There was just an ethernet cable. Well, I thought I could connect it through ethernet and gain access that way and try to do a data recovery on it, but I had, it, wasn't, it wasn't gonna work. And so what I figured I had to do was take it apart, uh, just pull out all of the, um, the connections to the ethernet and all the, the stuff that just puts it on as the cloud and just pull the hard drive out. Um, and then I can connect it up with a cable. Well, I tried to use the cable, this cable. Oh, there it went. This cable here, I thought I could just plug this in to the hard drive and then the other ends to the USB. And I thought, I have this, this is no problem. The problem is, is it wouldn't power. It's like it didn't have enough power. And I think if I would have hooked it into a laptop, maybe, I don't know, maybe some computer would have powered it, I don't know. but. It didn't power. So I what I did was is I went online and I bought one of these. These U Green USB 3.0 to 3.5 inch SATA external hard drive enclosures. And once I got the hard drive out, I plugged it into the to the the enclosure, which I'll show it to you. It's right here. So the hard drive, you see now the hard drive's in here and it has a power button right up here. And um, so it's got power and a USB cable. So with the power supply, um, I was able to gain access to the hard drive. Now, when I plugged it in, it said, would you like to reformat? Like the format wasn't right. But fortunately I didn't do that because I, I didn't want to mess with that. So what I did was, is I downloaded Wondershare um, Recover It software and I was able to recover everything like a champ. I got everything. I'm pretty sure every, there was a few files that I noticed that were corrupted or something, wouldn't work, but um, I was able to get a lot of stuff off. I mean, photos, MP3 files, um, uh, videos of when my kids were younger. There's a lot of just, you know, very important things on there for me. So, and I didn't wanna, again, I didn't wanna send this thing off to somewhere where I would have never seen if they did not recover it you wouldn't you wouldn't have ever got the drive back yeah that's it so they would have said sorry so i was like no nah, i'm not going to put it put this into anyone else's hands i'm gonna do it myself so what i did is um i did a little video i'll go ahead and um i'll start it right now of how to take it apart i'm not responsible for anything that you do i'm gonna put that out there right now if you take this apart and you ruin your drive that's your risk okay i'm sorry so don't if you're not comfortable doing it don't do it, but it's not hard, okay? You just be gentle, you can pull it out of the case and gain access to the hard drive is really easy. And then um, go out and get that enclosure and then get um, a program like the Wondershare Recover It and you should be good to go. Just don't be writing anything to the drive before you do that, just go for the data recovery right away. Um, anyway, I'll go ahead and start the video and um, I'll put the links in the description for the um, external case and also for um, the link to the Wondershare Recover that worked great for me. So 
Um, anyway, I hope you guys get your data back. Again, I'm not responsible for any damage due to your drive. You're on your own. Um, hopefully, um, if you just uh, be gentle with it, you'll be able to get it out and it should work with, for you without a problem. So, but no guarantees. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and here is the video. Hi guys, Mike here. Um, as you know, the MyBook Live was hacked and it was remotely reformatted. <clears throat> and the only way that I know of that you're able to do a data recovery on your own is to open the unit and connect it with a cable. And um, so what I did was I just took this little um, pocket knife. It has this little, it's almost just like a screwdriver. You could probably just get a flathead screwdriver, really kind of a small one, and just start prying the outsides nice and slowly. <clears throat> Once you do that, it will um, it will slide right off. So, um, so yeah, so this is what it looks like um, inside. I mean, there's still some extra steps you need to do in order to gain access to the port um, where we need to connect it to the computer. Okay, so next we're gonna remove this little plastic piece right here. You should be able to just pull it out just like this. There it is. Okay, now that you remove the little plastic piece here, you can just push it from, from the bottom and it'll lift. So just be careful on this part. Um, just be gentle when you push it up. It kind of gets stuck there uh, over on this side, and um, but it'll come right out of the plastic housing. Now remove the four little rubber pieces. I already took three off. Um, these little rubber pieces just pull, they pull right off. And after removal of the four screws on the side, the uh, hard drive lifts right out. Now we're gonna remove the screws on the circuit board. There's one right here, there's one underneath here, and then these two right there. Now all you gotta do is you just gotta put the hard drive into this U-Green um, case, plug it in, um, into the outlet and then plug in your USB into your computer and it should recognize it and then you got to power it on right there with the power button and it should recognize it and then go and download the Wondershare Recover It um, and I will put a link in the description again and um, again I'm not responsible for any damage that you might um, further damage that you might occur to your drive um, but it's pretty easy again, and I hope that you're able to get your data back. Um, please uh, subscribe, leave a note, uh, leave a comment below, and um, hopefully you like it. And hopefully, let me know if you're able to recover your data. Um, it's, a, it's a great thing to be able to uh, get back something you thought was lost. So um, good luck, guys, and um, if you have any questions, just shoot them below. Thanks.